This is an adventure and a place that millions of people visit each year. Yet it's a descent that until now has remained illegal. I've been kayaking for a long time. I've been all over the world. I've run a lot of rivers, done a lot of major expeditions. And there's just a few things left that I really want to do. And one of them is to run the Merced River in Yosemite National Park. But this is not just for personal accomplishment. We could help set a precedent for opening other rivers in other national parks where perhaps it's not yet legal to kayak. This has for a long time been considered one of the low-hanging forbidden fruits of kayak runs. For many years, the Merced has been on my mind, but I've not really known what's up there. Now with Google Earth, we're able to get a good visual, but we've always known that it's off limits. When I heard that a new permitting process was coming into effect, I immediately started wondering how I could get to do it. And one of the first steps was to find myself a fellow paddler. I've called on Pat Keller, who's one of the best kayakers in the world. He's keen, he's enthusiastic, and he runs very hard white water. I've come to California a couple times and been on amazing classics in this area but never have been to the Merced because it was illegal. Set it to mud. Steve's awesome as far as like knowledge and his track record in white water is unsurpassed. He's one of the greatest of all time. The game's on and we're, we're keen to go in there and try and knock some stuff out. We'll hike roughly 17 miles to the start of the Merced River and then kayak about 15 miles of whitewater to just above Nevada Falls before our final four mile hike down into Yosemite Valley. But there's a lot to be done before we can actually do any of that. In a project like this, we need all kinds of equipment. Uh, we're trying to be minimalist, so we're trying to keep everything portable, but there's certain things that we just have to have. Uh, we've got to carry all of our camping equipment with us, we carry freeze-dried food, we need to purify water, and then of course there's the safety factor. So all of this stuff, and we have to be able to carry it with us both on the trail and on the river. Now, what does all of that go in? The kayak. We're going to make Steve's uh, Large Zen, that's the name of his kayak, we're going to make it from start to finish from scratch. So what's special about this boat is I want mine to be a little bit lighter. And the reason I want it to be lighter is because we've got the 17 mile hike in with all our gear. If I can save five or 10 pounds, that's a lot of energy over the course of 17 miles. The Merced is going to require a lot of logistics, a lot of steps toward achieving our goal. We've got a huge hike in, about 17 miles with about 5,000 feet of vertical ascent before we even get in our kayaks. And then we've got multiple days of scouting gorges, doing portages, running whitewater, and after numerous days, we'll make it to the end, and that'll be our goal. It's something that before my kayaking days are over, I'd very much like to do.